What's up, losers? In this let's play, we're gonna be playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Psycho Sam right here, let's get right into the game. Uh, we're not gonna use rumble feature, because that thing can get really annoying sometimes. And that's probably gonna sound really weird listening to that to, through the mic. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I was talking about how I was wanting to play this game on the GameCube, and this is exactly why right here. It's so much more convenient. And, uh, to be honest, in my opinion, a lot less likely to corrupt than it would on the N64. I mean, the possibility is still there, but I just feel like it's less uh, less likely to do it. But um, this is honestly probably one of my all-time favorite games to play. It's just an amazing game for anyone that hasn't played it, which I highly doubt it. It's uh, what's the what's the word I'm thinking of? Um. Not overrated. I can't think of the word. Well, eh, I, no, not overrated. <laughs> it's a, it's a very, it's a very good game. There's a reason why a lot of people like it. So no, I wouldn't call it that. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kakiri, live here with me. Each Kakiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Oh, he's not going to do the laugh. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deccan tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kakiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as the barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny is it, it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go, now, find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much left, much time, <laughs> much time left. Fly, Navi, fly, the fate of the world, nay, uh, <laughs> the fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon thee. What good is someone to read the subtitles for you when they can't read it properly, huh? <laughs> Then we go through this little flying adventure of Navi. Is it Navi? Na Navi. I think it's Navi. Uh, Navi looking around for his house, even though she should already know where it is, considering you know she lives there. See? Like how'd she already know that it was his house? Cause she didn't already know where his house was. <laughs> And honestly, I feel like that's kind of funny. I feel like that's the equivalent of walking to a wall. You know, when you're flying, you should be able to fly just as easily as uh, we would be able to walk. So, <laughs> she practically just walked into a wall. No. Hello, Brendan. Wake up. The great Deku tree wants to talk to you. Brendan, get up. That's my name, by the way. <laughs> hey. hey, come on. Can I roll destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Call me lazy, but this is the last time we sleep. <laughs> you finally woke up. I'm Navi, the fairy. The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. 
The great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Okay then, pushy fairy. Kokiri Forest. <laughs> Hell you want? Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Brendan. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kiri, Brendan. Is that right? The great Deku Tree has summoned you. It's quite an honor you talk to the great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the great Deku Tree. I love how I like slowly added in that weird voice I was making. <laughs> No? Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> oh, <well>, nice. Nice. <laughs> just imagine in the studio this guy, uh, the person voice acting, just <laughs> just making random grunting noises. That's all he has to do. He gets paid hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Sounds like a great job. Silent protagonist. There one behind me. Oh, oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, there's a red or a blue ruby back there. Ruby. You got the Kakiri sword on the equipment subscreen selected with Kakiri. This is the hidden treasure of the Kakiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. Uh, yeah, the funny thing about it is that we can borrow it, but we literally keep it for the entire game. We don't use it the entire game, but we literally keep it the entire game. Didn't see that. Oh, oh. Almost got hit by it again. I believe the last time I played, I actually beat the game without dying, only because I always keep fairies on me to make sure I never die. <laughs> Okay, let's so what we gotta do now, for anyone that doesn't know, we gotta get the we gotta get a shield before we can progress. So in order to do that we need to get rupees. And to get that we gotta either break stuff or just find it. Find it. Um, we need I think 40. Yeah, it sounds about right, 40 rupees. Oh, stop looking at him. He's not important, I'm pretty sure he just, all he does is explain to us the, uh, the fun to throw. Oh, talk to him. Hey! Oh. Whoops. <laughs> hey, by the stone, pick it up. Hey, by the stone, pick it up. Mean old Mido, he made me pick up the rocks in front of his house. <laughs> I don't like Mido, he's mean. Clearly, I mean, he can say it too. <laughs> Thirty-one, thirty-six. Wait, thirty-six. And I don't know how they expect you to ever find those. Be gone, thought. <laughs> if you go back here, you get another five rupees. How are you supposed to know about that? Who knows? Oh, you know what? You know what probably tells you? Maybe the guide. The guide probably explains half this stuff. <laughs> You got the Decker Spoon Shield. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. So next thing we gotta do is equip the shield, and we gotta go beat up Mido. Yeah, you thought this was an adventure game. This is a child abuse simulator. <laughs> Look at him, look at him, this twat. Look at him, he walks like that. You're gonna get it, boy. <laughs> if you want to see the great Deku tree, you should at least equip the sword and shield. Huh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield? And what's that? Is that the cookie for your sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept 
You as one of us? Shoot! How'd you get to be the favorite of Sar Saraya and the Great Deku Tree, huh? <laughs> be gone! He's even in my way when he's moving out of my way. <laughs> so here we fight our first enemy, which are these abominations right here. Just some Deku sticks. I'm pretty sure if you don't attack it, it'll turn into a uh, regular one. No? Okay, maybe not. Not yet, at least. Here's the Deku Tree in all of his prime and glory. Great Deku Tree, I'm back. Dun. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Brendan, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength and a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Verily. Uh, Brendan, the time has come to test thy courage. I have become cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have the courage enough to undertake this task? Yes. Then enter brave Brendan and Navi too. Wait, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Brendan. And Brendan, when Navi speaks, use that button to listen well to her words of wisdom. My mic is cutting out for some reason. It keeps like cutting. It's making weird noises. It's very, very like, irritating because it's like a little pop every now and then. It's like the noise it makes when you unplug your headphones. Oh, it's frustrating. It's a really weird noise. I hope you guys can't hear that. Hold on, give me one second. Let me make sure you guys can't hear that noise. Oh, that's so weird, that noise. It's very frustrating, too. Let me make sure everything's plugged in properly. Let me unplug everything real quick. Did that help? No, it did not. Not at all. Doing the same thing. Well, if this would stay in my... Ha! I hit you with one hand. That's what I was expecting to get to the one earlier. But it didn't give it to us. Hey, oh. <laughs> I meant to get him with the swing slash attack. Can't handle it. Look at this wall, the land's growing on it, give it a rough surface. Maybe, maybe you can climb on it. <laughs> Alright, so first thing we gotta do, first off, I hate spiders. Skull Waltula, be careful not to touch it. Yeah, don't need to tell me that. What are we gonna get? Now we can hear stuff, or, uh, you know, see a useless map. You can open a door by standing in front of it and pressing Y. Hey. I listen Y. Pay attention to what the action icon says. That's the green icon at the top of the screen. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, 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 hey. How do you want? Oh, wow, I got him. <laughs> when you jump off a high cliff, if you hold up a... Oh, the roll at the ground when you land, it won't get hurt from the fall. I can't guarantee it'll work though if the cliff is really, really high. <laughs> well, try if you're feeling full. That's like, I think that's how that, uh, parkour is doing in real life. When they, uh, they don't necessarily roll. I can't remember the exact word for it. Um, they, what they, well, yeah, it is kind of like a roll. I think. No, that's a jump. That's a vault. That's a jump. Uh, to do the... Um, it's when you land on the ground, you bend your knees, and then you roll forward. I think that's 
kind of what he was telling you to do. I can't remember what it's called. Poor, poor chorus do it. It's actually really cool to watch. Like, it's all about, like, how, like, like, just how you do it. If you do it properly, like, you can do it without getting hurt. But this game kind of uh, exaggerates the height of your jumps. <laughs> ah, my neck. My neck hurts. That hurts weird. Okay. So. Be gone. Be. Oh. Okay. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Now we gotta climb all the way up here. Here we freaking go. Thankfully, there's no more spiders. But that is not the end of it. This game is full of spiders. And I hate spiders. Spiders are my number one fear. Like, if a spider ran across my foot right now, you would literally probably hear me scream. Big Skulltula. It's soft bot. Uh, soft belly is. It's so disgusting. Ugh. Dude. Like, really? Like, literally, as a kid, I never realized these things were- Oh my god. <laughs> I never realized these things were spiders. I just never liked them. I just thought they were disgusting. Whoops. Oh, that's a Deku scene, by the way. It freezes. Which, that actually would get me hurt right there if I went behind him. Come on. Because once you hit him, he'll do this. So, even with him being frozen, he still would have hurt me. Yeah. Right. Uh, I believe if we go through here, we get the compass. Okay, nice. Then we gotta do a little bit of parkour. Oh my god. I hate my life. I hate it. These noises, though. Did that popping noise go away? Oh my god! Oh. No! Yes! <laughs> what are we getting here? I think it's the compass. Yay, the compass. The compass. I really hope you guys can't hear this noise that I'm hearing through my ears. It's like very, like, off putting. I think it's really off putting. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna hit this one more time, because there are these things we can collect in the game. Oh, oh, that was close. I thought I missed that. I knew he was gonna come down from there, but I, I, I missed, messed up the jump. Uh, we gotta kill these things. Those are gold skulltulas. Is that what they're called? Gold skull. Yeah, gold skulltula. Skulltula. Um, they uh, if we collect enough of them, we get little bonuses in the game. Which honestly, I don't think we're gonna do all of them because um, just I don't know. Hundred percent, this game is gonna be a real chore to be honest. <laughs> If we didn't 100% Spongebob, why would we 100% this, huh? Yeah. Even with that attack, if I went too close to him, he would have hit me. Yeah. Yeah. That scream, though. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's get the skull shimmer right up here. Oh my god. Oof. Another one right over here. Get it. Got it. Good. Oh. There we go. Okay. I thought I missed it. <laughs> he destroyed the gold sculpture. Ah, yay. Happy noises. Climb up here. Go get this one. Yay. Now we got three. Gonna get all the like easy ones, so pretty much all the ones I know about. I do have a guide for this, but eh, it would work to do extensive training. Doing stuff. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I hate. Wait, no, it's not this one. Get over here, boy. Please forgive me, master. Ooh. I honestly prefer daddy. <laughs> I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. Do you think I'm a traitor? Well, kinda. You just betrayed your uh, friends to help me because I hurt you. But, uh... <laughs> imagine that. Imagine that. You gotta... To, in order to beat someone, you gotta punish them in the proper order. Imagine that's how it works with siblings. That would suck. You just keep on getting beat. Until your mom figures out the right order. Uh, that'd be weird. Where is the button? I, I know there's a button underneath me, but where is it? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. I could not find it for the. Oh my god. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Jump up here. So the thing about the Deku stick is that it is as powerful as the Master Sword in the game, which does double the uh, damage of the Kokiri Sword. If you blind, you're standing there, so I do not care about Half of this! Okay, push this thing over. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's the thing? I can't see. Oh, okay. I couldn't see the, the ledge. I thought I wasn't there yet. I'm blind. Okay, where are we? Oh, what? Oh! As much as I love this game, I actually never beat it until like, uh, just like a year or two ago. But I beat in the game twice. I beat it once in the N64 and once in the Wii. Um. But, uh. Yeah, I've, uh, what's it called? Oh. But yeah, I only beat the game twice. And it was only recent, like, somewhat recently. When I was a kid, I could never beat the game. It was just too complicated. Oh, crap. I hate these things. Alright, we can't go and even go in there yet without bombs. Wait a second, actually, don't those things explode? Do these things explode? No? Okay, never mind. I thought they exploded. If they exploded, if we killed one near the wall, we wouldn't be able to open that wall, but they don't, so we can't. <laughs> This one used to drive me crazy, this little puzzle right here. It's not even that difficult, it's just, it's just like, under, like, just... It's like one of those things where you gotta utilize, uh, your techniques. Oh my god! Where you gotta utilize your techniques and the things that character can do. Um... So you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. I'm uh, just gotta slowly push this thing over. Uh, okay, there we go. Alright, now we gotta go get this. Oh, there's a treasure chest there. I forgot about it. What do we get? Oh, wow, thanks. Well, I guess I kinda needed it. Okay. So, see, now. You're standing here and you're like, how the hell do I do this? I got a shield. Why would you think that as a kid? Who knows? Okay, so these are the brothers he was talking about up ahead. Even though that wasn't really up ahead. This is really far ahead compared to where we were a minute ago. But, uh, yeah, we got a two, three, one. Boom, got him. Hey, you get your little booty. How'd you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queen! Sorry about that! <laughs> Alright, 
So we're gonna end the episode here. In the next episode, we're gonna defeat their freaking boss at this level, which is another giant spider. And yeah, so uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the end.